Okay, what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the first engineered monetary system in the history of the human race. Full stop. So now to explain it, the first question is, what's money? The second question is, what's the problem? And the third question is, what's the solution? Bitcoin is the solution. Now go back to the beginning. What is money? Well, an economy consists of goods, services, and property. I want you to do something for me. I want that product. I want you to manufacture something for me. I want that house. I want that land. That's half the economy. Now the question is, how do I send uh, 37 horses to you? And then how do we keep the books balanced? So you have to send me back money. Money is socio-economic energy. Money is monetary energy, or it's, it's the energy, the backhaul energy that we use to trade with. If I can send you 10 bushels of corn and you can send me money equal to 10 bushels of corn, then we can trade with each other. So in the history of the world, human beings have tried different monies. We've used seashells. We use the giant stone coin of the Yap people. We use tobacco bales in, uh, in, pre in colonial America. We've used copper coins, silver coins. We've used stone coins. We use glass beads in Africa. These are all types of money. Eventually, we got to, got to settle on gold and gold coins as money. But gold was never fast enough as money. How do you move 10 tons of gold from here to there? So ultimately, people use ledgers. And those ledgers were issued by a merchant, or they were issued by a mayor. Or they were issued by an emperor. And, uh, you know, you can go back 5,000 years and you can find Sumerian tablets in clay where they've etched in like 37, you know, bushels of oats in return for something. These were the ledgers. So uh, money is that, that shared ledger of who owes what to whom. A lot of times the money is a token, like a glass bead. But the problem with a glass bead is if the Africans use a glass bead, the Europeans show up and they can manufacture a million glass beads. The Europeans dump a million glass beads on the Africans. The Africans lose their homes and their livestock and all their wealth and they're impoverished. 